Hi, welcome to my channel. My name is Courtney. Welcome back. If you've never been here before, welcome to my channel. If you take one second and click subscribe before I get lost in cyberspace forever. Today I'm going to teach you without any injections, fillers, or lip pumps how to create an over-outlined lip look with regular lip pencils and matte long wear lipstick that you can do easily at home with a little practice. I am going to show you how I personally do my overlining on my lips for myself and for clients when I do their makeup. I'm not going to do it on lips that have filler. There's no injections, there's no lip pumping, there's no it's just basic makeup that you can find in any drugstore to create an overlined look on your lips. Now, I did this earlier and I've gone about my day. So I'm going to take it off and then redo it moderately uh, with the same colors, same idea behind it. I just want to give you the basic rundown on overlining. I love overlined lips. I just, for me, that's what I like. You don't have to make yours be as overlined as I do it today. Just take the lines back a little bit. But this is going to give you the basic idea of how it's done to look best. I don't want to look natural, I just don't want to look ridiculous. <laughs> Inexpensive black eyeliner and show you how to overline and then show you what it looks like if you don't follow the rule of only overlining on the top and bottom. So always start where your real lip kind of is, but a little bit over it and then bring it up. You can you can create a hard point if you wanted, like this. You could change the way your lips look right now. Or you could take away at your cupid's bow. And then you want to just follow it gradually down to where it really is. Do you like my mustache? and then connect it back to your real lip. Do a little drawing. Look back at yourself. Look back at it. For me, my lip naturally is bigger here. And on this side, it's not. So I always do a tiny bit right here. This would be wrong. Following the overline. Do you see that? It just looks like when you, t like psychos in movies take lipstick and... You have to make sure that you follow it, the line back down. Don't do this. All right, so normally I would probably use a lip pump if I was super into it, but lately I have just been trying to minimize the amount of time that it's taking me to get out the door to feel comfortable and the lip pump, while I do love it and I'll always use it, I don't want to always have to. And like put lipstick on without looking. I just have done it so many times. It's practice. Practice makes perfect. Use this. This uh, Maybelline like a dark mauve color 
and I'm going to just overline. I usually start at the top. Bring it down to meet the corner, your natural corner of your mouth. Then I go to the bottom. I mean, pretty much all that is fake. Bring it up to the natural corner of your mouth. Kind of bring a little bit lighter handed fade from the line downward, almost like using it to blend it in. Darken the inner bottom corners and top. Corners, and then I like to So now going in with a cokey. I don't want to rub too hard. I want to make sure that it all gets covered and then I'll probably go back in on a second coat. If you grab and rub aggressively, you're just going to all this nice different shades and highlights and that we did here is just going to all just mix turn into one color and not give you that illusion that we're trying to create. Make sure you have enough product every time so that it's not rubbing off the lip pencil but applying the product over it. Right. I feel like that looks pretty good. I'm just going to let this dry and then what I'm going to do is go back in with a liner to touch up where I think it needs a little more depth to make it look more natural and once this is dry decide if I want to do a highlight or but honestly the way that it is right now once this is dry and matte I would 100% go out like this. I like the way my lips look. Really, that's what the point is. You're supposed to like the way you look and who cares what anybody else thinks. You don't want to look crazy maybe or maybe you do and that's up to you as long as you're a good person. So I 100% think that you could just completely go out and go on with your day with your lips just like this. I just think that because it's a video, maybe I'll just take it one step further. Say if I was overlining someone's lips for a wedding the next thing that I would do would just be tiny little adjustments here and there to make it look 
more perfect knowing you're getting photographed and things like that but I mean just the liner in those positions and making sure that you keep the overlining to the top and bottom and connecting to your natural sides and also a matte longwear lipstick that's full coverage to make sure that you can cover all of the lip liner that you did and that the lip liner is darker so that you do get that shadow created the illusion is there And then just a little bit more of that lip, not to cover all of it, but help blend. When I do turn to the side even, to add a highlight I highly suggest adding a very light one using a very small brush and putting it in very specific spots when you do this you're just going to take down all your work of trying to extend your lip by creating shadow by now lightening it I will show you right now the few tiny little spots that I would put it in if you were going to do it. I also would not suggest using any sort of a gloss over matte. It will just turn your matte into a mixture of the gloss color and the matte color and become gloss. It's no longer a matte long wear and you shouldn't know like why bother. So the one that I'm using is called Fine DuPont Illuminator by Laritzi Cosmetics. It's kind of almost like a cream to powder. And I'm using a clean, tiny brush. And the places that I like to put it is on the corner no, that's a bad way to say it. Here, 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 and here. <laughs> and kind of blend. So. Like haters will say it's photoshopped kind of lips. Thanks for watching guys. I hope you had a good time and you learned something. If you have any questions, go ahead and comment down below. Don't forget about my giveaway I have going on right now. I will also link that down below. We have that awesome necklace, pillow, and contour palette that I'm giving away. I just wanted to say that I love you very, very much to all my friends and all my supporters and extra love to all my haters. Bye, guys. You're basically drawing the way you're going to look for the rest of the day, so you should like it. Here comes Peter Cottontail, hopping down the bunny trail. Hippity hoppity, Easter's on its way. 
Easter is my favorite holiday because it's low pressure. I don't have to buy a present for every single person in the whole entire world and then like worry about paying my rent. And then it's just like fun. I feel like it's just like, yay, like there's like, it's like chocolate and finding things. I like to find things. I've always wanted a metal detector on the beach. Goals.